Welcome to the Traditional Way Podcast, brought to you by the Martial Arts Inner Network. I am Brett Shumway. Today we are going to be reviewing two Karate One series events that happened within the past two weeks. Starting with the Karate One Youth, Youth League series, had its event in Merida in the Yucatan region of Mexico. This event showcased 784 competitors from 42 countries across 46 divisions. Even by WKF standards, this was a big event showing athletes in all of the under-21 age group divisions. The divisions are grouped into cadet, junior, under-14, and under-21 categories. This event had only individual divisions with no team kata nor team fighting being available. Now, Mexico being the home nation came in strong with 296 athletes registered, while the U.S. had 85, Chile had 81, and Canada having 58 as the top represented countries at the event. Now, the youth league can be interesting since the ages represented are what, in what I like to call the happy zone for age groups within the WKF, where they can go back and forth between the veterans divisions and the junior and under-21 divisions. With the WKF transfer rules, some competitors do take advantage of that and transfer up. Most notably, Matthew Garisha from Canada did that to compete in Dublin at the Premier League event, as well as France's Mai Ling Bui. Now, both 16-year-olds transferred their points up and gave it a go in the veterans divisions in Dublin which is a great opportunity for them to get noticed and to gain more experience moving forward as they progress into the veterans divisions in the future. Also, the Karate One Series A had an even bigger event in Larnaca, Cyprus, bringing 914 entries to the small island nation for a showdown in the veterans divisions. These, event these divisions were huge. Male Kata had 127 competitors. Female Kata having, had 105. Additionally, 76 nations were represented here, with Italy having the biggest team of 128 registered competitors, and the second represented nation being France with 74. This event also had Team Kata, which does not get represented in the other Karate One uh, leagues, which is one of the most dynamic and popular divisions to watch within the WKF. So without taking too much more of your time, let's get started diving into the results from these events. In the under-21 division, starting in the Kumite division, El Salvador's Sofia Alejandro Orentes Magena came in ranked 19th in the world, ended up winning gold and besting the 32nd ranked fighter from Slovenia, Lara Dakovic, by one point in the female minus 50 kilogram division. In the minus 55 kilogram div division, Chile's Magdalena Gude easily takes gold over Mexico's Karina Espinosa with a score of 9-1. to Scotland's Chanel Gordon walks through the minus 61 kilogram division with ease winning gold and taking her first medal in the WKF. In the minus 68 kilogram division, Mexico's Alondra Elizabeth Mendez Mann beats division newcomer Ella Crowley from Canada by a score of 1 to nothing. In the last under 21 female division, Italy's Asia Pergolesi ranked 23rd, best Puerto Rico's Genesis Ramirez for gold. In the men's minus 60 kilogram division, American Janko Dorta blanks Colombia's Juan Manguez Norguera for gold, giving the U.S. its first gold of the event and Janko's second medal in the youth league this year. In the minus 67 division, 20-year-old Algerian Anis Halasa beats Chile's Claudio Sabalo with a score of 3 to nothing, where American Evangelos Acte earns bronze in this division. In the minus 75 kilogram division showcased Portugal's Bernardo Fernandes trouncing world number three, Slovakia's Maros Jancevic, six to nothing. This was a huge win for, for, for uh, Fernandes. He came into the event ranked 58th. American Brian Buka came into the event ranked 40th in the world, beat Slovakian Dominic Buhanicki in the minus 84 kilogram division by decision. Rounding out the men's division in the over 84 kilogram division, Slovakian Dominic Kesliak finally breaks the streak of silver, me silver medals from his countrymen uh, in this event, where the 78th ranked fighter wins gold over number 38 ranked Salvador Avila Ibarro of Mexico. In the Kata divisions, world number 29 Danny Williams from England wins over Leticia de Souza Cardoso from Brazil, notably in this division Canadian Roxanne Laros Carningan came in the event ranked 105th and beat out fellow countrywoman Masa Kutsi for bronze. This event will definitely help Roxanne move up in the standings for the 20-year-old in the last year she has in this division. For the men, we had world number 18 Fernando Zambrano of Venezuela beating out German Julian Hadezade in a gold medal match. With both competitors opting to run Chad Nara Kusanku, Zambrano won this match with three out of the five judges Judges going his way and a final score of 23.8 over Hazadawe's 
Moving on to the junior divisions, if we start with female Kumite in the minus 48 kilogram division, world number nine, Veronica Jalowitz-Zorova of Slovakia beats world number eight, American Sofia Singleton by a score of one to nothing. Turkish fighter and world number one, Buse Kilik beats Italian Francesca Giraldi by decision to win the gold in the minus 53 kilogram division. American Braylon McCammon took third in that division, which is a great showing for her as she came into the event ranked 202nd, so she's definitely going to see some movement in the standings. In a big upset in the minus 59 kilogram division where world number five, Poland's Katarzyna Lewandowska loses to the 79th ranked fighter, Francis Sidney Yvonne, three to nothing. In the minus 66 uh, division, Mexico's Lizette Valentin Garcia came into the event ranked seventh, ended up winning gold by edging out Swiss fighter Shania Bonnie by one point. Rounding out the female junior divisions, Costa Rica Amanda Moreno takes the gold over unranked Italian Anna Occiolini in uh, the over 66 kilogram division. In the men's kumite, German Florian Orbitz best Francis Thomas Ernwin for a gold, showing uh, why he is the world number two in the minus 55 division. American Gene Dorta wins bronze, helping the, uh, helping the 54 uh, ranked fighter move up in this division. In the minus 61 kilogram division, fellow Belgians Matt Rombo and Amin Ija battled it out for gold, with Rombo meaning, uh, winning the match 5 to 1. Interesting note here is that Rombo came uh, first event in the division. His transition points from his dominant cadet performances started him out uh, in the junior divisions in the world uh, as the world number one. This win just proves why he has that ranking and uh, proves that he will con uh, he should continue to dominate in this division as he did in the cadets. As we move on to the minus 68 uh, kilogram division, Scottish Benjamin Packwood ranked 18th coming in, best world rank number seventh fighter Slovakian Simon Kovac for gold. Mexican Jesus Francisco Garcia Garcia beat Spaniard Daniel Ivan Ely with a score of 5-0 to zero to win the gold medal match in the minus 76 kilogram division. Lastly, Lucas Buhanicki from Slovakia, best Italian Emmanuel Magnelli with a score of 5 to nothing, showing that his number three ranking is well deserved, taking his second medal in the, the over 60 or question over 76 kilogram division this year. Now moving on to the Cata divisions, Diana Olegino Redondos Paparin wins over Alice Jana Kirshner Orovas, Ohan Dai, in the gold medal match for the junior female Kata division. Most notably, Francis Sidney Yvonne takes a bronze medal uh, in this division to match her gold medal from Kumite at the event. She is one of the few in the WKF uh, world that does do both Kata and Kumite at an international event, and it would be great if she could continue that in the veterans divisions, as we do not see that uh, very often. As for the men, Portugal's Jao Vieira put up a big score with his performance of Super Empe, beating the Kanku Show performance by Italian Luigi Mattaccioni in the gold medal match. Vieira, who is ranked fourth in the world, secured his second gold of the youth series this year for male kata. As we look into the younger guys in the cadet divisions, with the female fighters starting in the minus 47 kilogram division, Portugal's Ima uh, Christian Emma Fernandez. In her second youth league appearance, wins gold over Chile's Scarlett Rebecca with a score of 3-1. to one. It's a great showing for Fer Fernandez, who uh, entered the event ranked 138th. Turkish fighter in world number four, Nahir Kilik, wins over Portugal's Leonor Goncalves for the gold in the minus 54 kilogram division. The minus 61 kilogram division showcased American Charlotte Singleton winning gold by edging out Croatian Laura Strahija by one point. World number five, Marina Guerrero of Canada met world number 10, English Autumn Fry, in the final matchup for the over 61 kilogram division. In a close match, Guerrero pulls out the W with a score of three to zero, or actually three to two. With the male fighters, Englishman Zachary Attard bests Aldahadi Alajima from Kuwait to earn the gold in the minus 52 kilogram division, giving him his first medal in the youth league. In the minus 57 kilogram, correction, 57 kilogram division, world number two, Haidar Safi takes the gold over Oliver Ritnik from Spain. American Kike Leong uh, had a great showing in, the, in his first attempt in, this, in the Kumite division, taking silver to Chile's Alonso Pavez, who won the minus 63 kilogram division, also ranked sixth in the world. The minus 70 kilogram division was won by world number six, Richard Turkanik who beat out Mexico's Alan Villafana Vargas 
And the final division was won by world number one Adam Tajir from France, who took his third gold medal in as many events on the Youth League this year, beating out Mexico's Orlando Reina Cano for the over 70 kilogram division. The cadet kata divisions were a good showing for the American competitors present, with four of them ending up in the top 11 for the females and four of the top eight for the males. With the top American placing bronze in the female division, Sihara Diodhardes, Shiteru Kata's earned her that spot. However, she lost out to Italian Anna Orsetti, who took silver, to Portugal's Rita Marquez, who ultimately won the division, adding to her gold and bronze medal wins this year in the series. In the male kata division, world number one Thomas Clems from England beats out number five Jake Zlaubeck in the gold medal match with four out of the five judges giving him the nod. Moving on to the Karate One Series A event in Lenarca, starting with the female minus 50 kilogram division, number 25 ranked Colombian Sofia Cardenas Balcazar beats Slovakia's Natalia Vargova to best a division in a high scoring match that ended up with a final score of 12 to 6. Now, world number 13, Yvette Garanova from Bulgaria, takes gold over Zainab Jafarnajad of Iran, who made her debut in this weight class by a score of 2-0 in the minus 55 category. Serbia's Mina Trikos, coming in at number 45, beats France's Hilary Zameto, ranked 66 by decision for the win in the minus 61 kilogram division. While the 28th ranked French woman Melinda Marmont takes the gold, in the minus 68 kilogram division over the number 29th ranked Italian Sofia Ferrarini by a score of 1 to 0. Now this is Marmot's first medal in a WKF event. In the over 68 kilogram division, number 24 Julia Danizeska of Poland upsets world ranked number 10 in home country's Theodosia Giamuki of Cyprus with a score of 4 to 0 for the gold. Where Cleo Ferracuti coming off the silver in Dublin takes bronze in this division, bumping her up into the number eight position right before the World Championships, where the top eight seeds are, um, Christian, are top eight places are seeded. So this is perfect timing for her. Looking into the men's fighting division, Francis Rayon Meziani follows up his silver medal from Dublin with a gold in the minus 60 kilogram division, winning over Egyptian Zayed Ali by a score of five to two. This win. This win moves Meziani into the 11th spot in the rankings, so the 21-year-old is knocking on the door to break the top 10. In the minus 67 division, Ika Solomandis of Georgia squeaks out a narrow win over Iranian fighter Amariza Borzo Hachagolini for the gold. Hiroi Pitzel of Ukraine beats Frenchman Kilian Cizo 5-2 to take the gold in the minus 75-kilogram division. Michael Florzek of Poland Comes up empty against Adi Jurik of Slovakia in the final match in the minus 84 kilogram division with a score of six to nothing. And in the 84 kilogram division, sorry, the over 84 kilogram division, Mahmoud Namadi of Iran beats Greg Anderson of Scotland for the gold, where the Scotsman could not stop the onslaught of kicking attacks by the Iranian. Namadi won this match five to two. As we look at uh, Kata, we'll start with the female division. Now, Egypt had a good showing, winning silver and bronze, as well as taking fifth place in this very huge division. However, the final match came down to Jana Kamis and Mishima Kiri from Japan. Kiri easily won this matchup with the judges giving her the nod by a full two points in the gold medal match. In fact, Kiri absolutely dominated this division, with the closest anyone got to beating her was being down by 1.1 points. Additionally, this is her first WKF event, so we will, uh, we will definitely see her in the future, and she is one to watch. As we move on to the men's, France's Enzo Montarello and Slovakia's Roma Herkic. Christian Herka, uh, shared the bronze medals, where Hungarian Adam Bardos and Italian Alesso Giannami matched up in the gold medal match, with the Italian winning the gold as he took the matchup with six out of the seven judges giving him the nod. As we move on to the most exciting division, the Team Kata. Now, in the female Team Kata division, once again, Egypt had a good showing, securing a bronze alongside a Colombian team, and the final matchup came down to Egypt versus France. Both performances were a strong Shotokan demonstration, but the Egyptian team's Unsu was better than France's Kanku Sho, getting five out of the seven judges uh, to go their way, earning them the gold with a final score of 41.5 to 40.2. Looking at the men's teams, two French teams medal in this event, with one taking bronze alongside the team from Iran. But as with the females, the gold medal match came down to Egypt versus France. And this was deja vu all over again, as both teams performed the same katas as the women's division, the French's Kanku Show and the Egyptian's Unsu. 
Even though this matchup was closer than the female division, with only four of the seven judges going for the winner, the outcome was the same. Egypt won the division, securing both golds and the team Kata divisions. I want to take time to bring you the under-14 divisions from Merida. Even though they are part of the youth series, they are not tracked by the World Karate Federation ranking system. However, these competitors did compete at this event, and I wanted to highlight the North American competitors that absolutely dominated this age category. Let's start with Canada's Cadence Chuang, who took silver in the female kata, with American Ellie Jean Vallis taking bronze. The male kata division was a clean sweep by the Americans, with Edmund Juo taking gold, Sasaki Murguro silver, and Aaron Nunez bronze. Presley Allen of the U.S. took second in the minus 42 kilogram female division with Mexico's Camila Ortiz Almos and Canada's, uh, Christian Canada's Alyssa Chan both taking bronze. In the minus 47 kilogram female division, Canadians Ileana Caragiana and Alice Baudet took gold and bronze respectively. In the minus 52 kilogram female division, the bronzes were shared by Mexico's Frida Hernandez and Laura Garcia and American Mihala Arkaleen and Canadian Tanya Rabinar fought for the gold with the American winning. Mexico's Molina Frias takes silver in the over 52 kilogram female division. In the minus 40 kilogram male division, Mexico took gold and both bronzes. Hector Inesta won the division, and Madison Ramirez and Brandon Borges uh, sharing bronze. American Aaron Nunez takes silver in that division. American Edmund Zuo beats out Mexican Abraham Marce uh, Mercado de Ande in the gold medal match for the minus 45 kilogram division. Roles were reversed, however, in the minus 50 kilogram division as Mexico's Sal Delgado beats Flay Goodwin for gold with Mexicans Kato Yoshi and Santiago Perez sharing bronze. In the minus 55 male division, Mexico's Joshua Rubio and Carlos Hig Higor um, sorry, Higuera take silver and bronze. In the last division, American Connor Chang takes bronze in the over 55 kilogram division. Now these young competitors are starting to make a splash on the WKF scene, and the state of traditional karate never looked brighter in North America in my opinion. As I stated before, I believe the North American presence in the WKF is going to be huge over the next couple of years, and the performances from the 12 and 13 year olds in Merida gives me hope that I am uh, correct in that assumption. Uh, one more thing before I sign off. I wanted to take time to address a discussion that I was involved with uh, in on social media in regards to the open circuit versus the traditional circuit when it comes to Japanese Okinawa kata. Now, what the other individual was stating had some merit if this was the 1990s or the early 2000s. At that time, there was a huge difference in how traditional forms were being performed on both circuits. However, I do not believe that this is the case any longer. I believe as far as traditional forms is concerned, we have never been as closely linked as we are right now, at least not in my lifetime. I cannot speak to what happened in the 70s and the 80s. I was born in 1982, guys, so that was before my time. However, currently, we have more WKF-style katas being performed and winning on the open circuit than I've ever seen before. I cannot name a competitor winning on the open circuits and in the Japanese Okinawan forms that are not doing one of the 102 katas that are on the WKF approved list. Additionally, we have more open circuit competitors doing those same forms on the USANKF, AAU, and WKF events, and they're doing well. Not to mention the amount of top open uh, circuit competitors currently training and working with WKF coaches. I have never seen this much crossover between the two circuits in terms of the amount of competitors doing it before. I believe... This, I believe this is the future of, of melting our circuits together in some aspects. But moreover, the strength of traditional forms for the future. I could not be more excited um, to see how these guys are going to uh, perform and, and how they're going to do on each circuit. With that, thank you for spending time and joining me on this episode. Please join me on the next installment of The Traditional Way where we will be previewing the World Championship. And as always, uh, while you wait... Please check out all the great shows from the Martial Arts Inner Network on this page. Until next time, folks. Mm -hmm.